The LA Clippers said, not today, Spurs, not today. They're, they were facing elimination last night, but the Clippers hung on in game six for a 102 to 96 win last night in San Antonio. And they extended what's been by far the most exciting series of the playoffs so far to game seven. Joining me now is expert handicapper Dave Golikoff to break down his free picks on the thrilling game going down tomorrow night. Dave, this has been one series in the opening round I can truly say has been unpredictable. Talking home advantage is really just kind of out the window here. Now for the Clippers, it's going to come down to their key players, Blake Griffin, Chris Paul, to be able to play the entire game full force. But what else, Dave? Why can this Clippers team win this one? Well, I love your Game of Thrones reference, so I'll give one to you here. They're like Arya Stark. They're growing up right before our eyes here. And I think that's really the difference, that the execution has really come into play for the Clippers. They've, they've really matured. Um, and uh, there were several times in this series where we basically left them for dead um, after, I think it was game two, after game three. Uh, people assumed they're done in game four. They came back. So uh, this, is, this has been an impressive team. Uh, even game five, they lost uh, game five at home. People figured everyone, you know, they come back home to San Antonio and the series is done. This is a Clippers team that has grown up before our eyes. They're figuring out how to execute down the stretch. Blake Griffin and Chris Paul have been the two best players in this series. And if it continues for one more game, they should get the win all right but let's talk about the spurs here too dave you know they're the reigning champs they could take this game as well what do you think what do they need to do to execute a win here i think that this spurs team is different than the one that was unconscious down the stretch of the season remember they won i forget what the streak was but something like 17 or 20 their defense was incredible um this looks like a little bit of a different team i know they're still very good uh but losing at new orleans and then watching them play in this series they're on a different level, a little bit below the level that they were during that really, really hot stretch. So maybe they overexerted themselves a little bit, not entirely sure, but losing at home game six with the series on the line is a concern. But, you know, they've been disappointing too. They were up, what was it? They were up 2-1 in the series, a chance to go up 3-1 uh, and blew that at home as well. Then they blew game six at home. I think that uh, the Clippers have figured them out a little bit. Clippers earlier in the series were uh, talking, you know, complaining about refs and this and that. Um, I think if the Clippers play their best and the Spurs play their best, the Clippers win. The, the question is, can the Clippers maintain that level? Because we know if they make any mistakes, the Spurs will take advantage. All right, now, Dave, the Clippers open up here at two and a half favorite in this one, and the number is now at just two in all of the books. Total here is at 204. I think picking a side could be extremely difficult here, Dave, but let's have you do it. Pick a side for us. Who's taking the win here? I think this is the Clippers' moment. I think it's their time to shine. They're at home, uh, and I think they're going to slay the dragon uh, if we're continuing with the Game of Thrones references here. I think that, uh, yeah, I've seen them emerge in this series, particularly Griffin and Paul. We knew they were great. They've taken their games to another level. Paul in the second half uh, in game six. This is a team that uh, was just, they've impressed me. They really have. And uh, I know, I'm not sure about big baby status. I don't think that's the biggest deal. I think uh, this, this gonna, the games are going to play out the same. Spurs bench is going to outscore the Clippers bench. Uh, but I think Chris Paul, Blake Griffin are the two best players they're going to be the difference the young legs of the clippers are finally uh, going to get the job done the, the crowd is going to be a factor a positive factor for the clippers and i think they're going to win this series all right it's a brave pick there dave but i have to agree with you i think the clippers definitely have motivation on their side in this one but hey guys if you have a different opinion on this game or you've got a different a pick for a different pick for us you can comment below this video or you can hit us up on twitter at sbr sports picks let us know what you think about the game and we'll feature you on the next show but until next time guys for all the best sports picks all the best nba picks all season long keep it locked right here with us at sportsbook review